Recording. Get it. Oh, he just dropped his phone. Okay. All right. What's up, Lilo? About to go first ride on the 2015 KX450, baby. Let's get it. Let's get her warmed up. See how she rides. She got done riding the 150 a little bit. He's messing around popping some wheelies. You drop your yeah, you drop your phone. Let's get the choke on. This thing's got mad compression. Third kick. I probably kicked you like a little baby though. Uh. Ah, boss. Oh, balls. I was not trying to get dirty today. Gosh dang it, I'm all dirty now. Out of all the places. Went right through there. Oh my freaking frack! Holy crap! Oh, I racked my nuts. I racked my nuts. Big time. What the fudge? <sighs> keep stalling it. I keep stalling it. It's definitely easier to hit the balancing point. I can't hold it though. Now I'm getting used to her. Baby, she will get up. Man. 
Well, first off, it's totally different playing with the clutch. I don't know, it, just, it felt different to me. I kept stalling, I probably stalled it like four times and I, I ride all the time, so that was kind of odd. So it definitely, something was up with the, I don't know if something was up or I'm just not used to it or. Um, man, the power, see I'm in third gear, low, low RPMs. I mean, it'll get on it. It'll just straight up rip and get on her, um, which is wild to me. Um, I've rode a, I mean, I've rode, I've set on some other 450s, but I never really got on it. I would say, I would say this one has like a, it sits up higher. The forks to me seem like they're, seems to me like they, like they sit up a little bit higher. Um, I mean, these are the air forks. So, I've never really done anything with the air forks before. Ah, oh, it's all muddy over here. I'm gonna make sure I skip on that. Um, and, I mean, it seems kind of smooth to me. I gotta bleed out the brakes. These front brakes, I'm pushing all the way in. It's barely stopping me going like, couple miles an hour but the bike I would say whoo, if you've never been on a 450 before holy crap see no no clutch up that thing will just pop up I'll just barely twist the throttle second gear barely twisting the throttle that is wild I've always been on two strokes they got no bottom end this thing is wild on the bottom end. So, the big things that I'm noticing is it's got power everywhere. Bump. Oh, boys. It's got a little speed wobble there. Yeah. And this thing just playing out hauls, no matter what it's in. That is the big thing I'm noticing. Um. Man, that back end will just slide out on you. I would say it is pretty, I mean it definitely is upright. I feel like I'm sitting upright compared to some of my other bikes. Definitely more upright. It is, I mean, I mean it's a dirt bike. I don't really know which one's comfortable, which one's not. So I mean it's comfy. The color looks amazing. Um, I mean, I mean, it does its purpose. It'll get you up and that was first gear, just no clutch up. That was all, that, was, that wasn't even clutch up. That was just, that was all, that was all throttle. And you just... Up the clutch, baby! Oh my gosh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, that was freaking fun. <laughs> I guess launch control keeps it from wheeling up right off the start. Because I wheelied up later on, but it, it, it wanted to stay down. You could feel it wanted to stay down. What the heck? Oh, that was freaking fun. That was a blast. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta do that again.
Oh my gosh, that was fun. What the heck? You could feel it wanted to spin out and like it wanted to catch and go in the air and like lift the bike up. It's getting kind of hot. But it just kept it, it kind of just kept it down. That was freaking fun. What the heck? I'm gonna try the launch control one more time. That was freaking fun. And we'll probably end it on this. So I'd say my overall review is, I mean, just get a bike and rip it. That's the biggest thing. But I'd say for the 2015 KX450, it's a solid bike. It's a fun bike. My first impressions are, it'll, it'll, it'll get your balls going. I mean, it'll, it'll get your balls tingling. It freaking rips. It's definitely heavier. Definitely heavy and harder to rip like that. But besides that, I mean, those are the two biggest things. There's probably more things I'm going to notice as I keep riding it. Um, it definitely, I can feel that it sits up higher. Um, but, I mean, that's about it. I, I can definitely feel it. The forks are a little bit higher. Um, I can't notice too much of a difference with having air forks compared to spring forks, though. But, I mean, besides that, it's pretty much the review. We'll go one last time on the... Get loose! Get a little loose there! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was fun. I think it needs a new back tire, but... That's it, y'all. That's pretty much it, and I guess I'll I'll see y'all back on the road. Oh crap! That's pretty much it. I guess I'll see y'all back on the road. <laughs>